All right, guys, this one's a little bit off kilter, a little bit off beat. It's sort of relevant, but not really relevant at all. So um, some of you might want to skip this one. Some of you are going to love it for what it's worth. What is this thing called a grocery store tent? What is a cart corral? And why does it interest me? What's up, everyone? It's Lee here, the bartending, photo boothing, rental guy. Uh, as you know, if you watch my channel, we talk pop-up tents, we talk marquee tents, we talk pole tents. Uh, we talk about whatever tents uh, we get the chance to, but sometimes I let my mind wander like I did in that bounce house video. Remember that one? It's like, hey, I wanted to start that bounce house business to a floating obstacle course. I piqued my interest. I was like, huh. you know, maybe one day I want to start a business. Like it's like, hey, I wanted to start that bounce house business. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, my wind, my mind started wandering about grocery store tents. How could this be a business? Would this be profitable? I think so. Let's get into it. a contract for something like this what happens if a windstorm comes do you fly back out for a certain charge uh, to fix the tent or do maintenance on the tent or is that all in the contract deal did they rent from you do you do a multi-year deal what is involved I know that for me, when I'm quoting jobs, that I wanna get jobs, I just go use PartyCAD, I make a 3D model, or people go to my website and visit it. So that's the general thinking. How do you get a, a gig? Well, you either make a 3D image and show them what they can offer, or you have it available on a website, or... So, I did some digging and I found a company that offers this. Check it out. So anyways, I did a little bit of digging and I found this place that uh, clearly supplies these tents for these garden centers called Outfront Portable Solutions. Uh, they have a location in Ontario, so that's Canada, but then they also have a location in Buffalo, New York. So uh, they do many things and they go out and they install them. Uh, it actually looks like the installs are very easy, uh, but they also have uh, irrigation systems for the plants. Uh, they've really nailed down this niche, I think. So. Uh, it's 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 very cool and I think that they're a very profitable business. I actually quite like the structures and I like the idea of having uh, the legs that are built of the same materials as truss, like perforated with holes in them and then just kind of screw them in. So it's almost like trusses, or sorry, it's almost like pallet racking meets clear span tent, um, well, custom application. These garden tents are bananas. You're probably like, Lee, Lee, why are you doing a video on, why are you doing a video on garden tents? No one cares about garden tents. That's true. No one cares about garden tents, but they do care about business. And uh, so right here, we're in a cart corral. So basically you get your cart, you take it back and this is the cart corral. It's like a tent. It's like a, it's like a shelter for carts, right? And these businesses, they make big money coming in and installing these things. And look how easy it is. I mean, like it just fits together right there. You just fit all the pieces on and you bolt it together. It's just like like playing with blocks when you were young or erector sets when you were young. You no, know, this is this is a good company thing. You get something like this designed up and uh, start selling it, start doing installs. You know, you get on all the Canadian tires uh, every time a new one comes up, you send out a team of guys and... Hey, I'm the guy who builds the cart corrals at Canadian Tire, and that's my business. Wow. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I've been sitting on this footage for about six months because I didn't really know how I was going to make it into a video. I just saw these carts, these cart corrals and these garden tents, and I was like, ooh, I'm deciding to film them. And so this is my video on them. So I uh, just thought I'd share what I filmed. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, uh, give one of those likes and uh, sub to the channel. I, uh, I just want to bring you videos on stuff that uh, tinkers in my mind. As always, you stay classy. Catch you on the next one.